1994 Rover Mini Cooper. So this is your 1.3 or 1275cc injection model. Manual gearbox. Metallic British racing green with the white roof and stripes. This one was sold new in Japan in 94. Um, before it was brought into the UK in 2021, so a couple of years ago. Obviously UK registered with a V5 with, a, with, with, with UK plates. Um, not a huge amount of difference between a Japanese Mini and a UK one. Obviously they don't use salt on the road, so generally much cleaner condition. Um, their, their road safety tests, their version of the MOTs are far stricter. Um, and the Mini's got a couple of different options that we sort of either didn't have or didn't choose for example they all came with aircon over there um whereas it's very rare you see a uk car with air conditioning um, it is a nice touch to be fair let's start by having a look at the bodywork then we'll uh we'll have a look at the interior then we'll get it fired up we'll start on this driver's side if we look down this side you can see it's lovely and straight all the way down there it's not full of any ripples or dents or anything like that you always want to check these seams on a mini so where it comes down from the headlight and underneath it's normally one of the first places on the front of the car where a bit of corrosion will show its face, but as you can see on this one, lovely and tidy all the way around. And same same story as it comes down the wing there and meets the uh, the plastic arches. They're all nice and tidy. Body coloured as well. We're on a set of mini light wheels um, with Yokohamas. They've got the little tyre stamps on there. You can clean those off if you don't like those things. They're quite easy to get off. Um, but the wheel is lovely and tidy. The tyre's got loads of tread left on it. No marks at all to note about on that front wing. Another area for corrosion is this sort of section here. Bottom of the windscreen, all that sort of stuff. But as you can see on this one, it's all very good. Coming up and round again. Nice and tidy all the way along there. Um, and that is the perks of a, of a Japanese one. They, they don't see those harsh British winters that we get. Um, so they are generally much cleaner and tidier. The roof itself, lovely and straight. There's no ripples and dents in that. Inside the gutters are nice and clean. We've got another little seam here that you want to have a good look at. And again, that one's lovely and tidy. And then another one down the bottom here, which again is very good. Looking along the sill on this car, open vent sills, so they're the correct sills. Again, if you compare these to a UK car, they'd be on their fourth or fifth set of sills by now. Really nice and tidy under there. The floor. Lovely and clean, you can see that exhaust is nice and shiny. I appreciate it's dark under there, so you are going to struggle a little bit. But it's not caked and under seal, nice and honest under there. Driver's door, lovely and tidy. I did notice there's a bit of tape, just covering a bit of a crack in the paint. I don't know if maybe someone's knocked the wing mirror off or something at some point behind the, uh, the wing mirror there, but you do have to get very close to notice it. On that, it's got the double Cooper pinstripe all the way down, lovely and straight. Rear quarter, all nice and tidy. Down the bottom there is all very good. You can see where the subframe mounts and everything in there. Again, really nice and tidy in there. Another good wheel with Yokohama tyre. Glass on this side is all good. It's clear, there's no sort of crazing or scratching on it. Down this section, all lovely and tidy. You can see the metallic in the green and the lights as well, really nice. Normally we get a bit of pitting on the chrome around the, the rear lights, but this one's all good, as are the actual light lenses themselves, both nice and clean and clear. Chrome bumper's all very good. And underneath that, it's lovely and tidy. If we get underneath there, you can have a look at the boot floor, the battery box. You won't find one as tidy as that on a UK car unless it's just been restored. And that exhaust looks to be pretty new as well. A little chip in the paint just there on the boot lid if we're being really picky. Lovely and tidy around the rear screen. Seals are nice and fresh. They're not dried out or cracked or anything like that. Same with around the filler cap. And it's got the the larger sort of billet style cap, which is nice. Down this side, lovely and straight again, not full of ripples or dents. Around that rear arch, nice and tidy. Again, we can have a look at the subframe from here. No sign of any corrosion coming through there. Rear quarter, that's all good. Again, we'll check the seams. Lovely and clean all the way around. And then if we have a look at the sill on this side, same again, open vents. Nice and tidy, it's not been rammed up any kerbs or jacked up incorrectly. See the floor from this side as well, lovely and clean under there. No marks to really note on the, on the passenger door either. It's got the tape on this side as well, so I'm guessing it's maybe they've changed the mirror style. Maybe they had bullets on or something and they've put the Cooper ones back on. 
Okay, and it doesn't particularly detract, I mean, even just the fact that the tape's on straight. It's like a bit of vinyl, really, more than tape. Sort of black vinyl, um, but it is there. Nice and clean coming down this front wing. Inside the arch, they're all good. And these seams are lovely and clear, as is the bottom of the windscreen. Coming round out the front, stripes are nice and fresh. All the chrome on the grille is really good. There's normally at least one dent on the grille, but this one's lovely and straight. Front bumper's all nice and tidy. Light lenses on both sides are good, as are the chrome bezels there. There's no pitting in those. Moving on to the interior, and you've got the sort of half leather two-tone Cooper interior. Clean and tidy on that door card. Tiny little bit of wear on the bolster on the driver's side. Very, very minimal. Nice and straight on the steering wheel. This one is 74,290 kilometers. So that's 46,000 miles. We do have a slight crack in the dash there. Quite common on your Japanese cars due to the heat. And then you will notice there, there's your aircon unit on the left-hand side, on top of your additional or standard heater controls. It is missing the stereo. It had quite an expensive aftermarket stereo in there, so the owners kept that. Um, all the wiring and everything there it just wants to be plugged back in. Rear seats look to be nice and tidy in there. Headlining is all good. Pop the boot and have a look in there. Back side of the lid is nice, bit of sound deadening on there as well. Carpet's nice and clean, and then under there, exactly as you expect, you get your full size spare. Fuel tank looks to be good. Normally in the bottom here is where you find your corrosion, but you can see that's all good in there. Maybe you can't on the camera, I appreciate it's dark, but it does look to be nice and tidy in there. Pop that carpet back in. Boot shut's nice as well, you don't have to force it shut like you do on some of them. All good on that passenger door card. And the seat on this side, much less wear on the bolsters. The bolsters are really, really good on this side. Very minimal on the drivers, like I say, but it is better on this side. Red carpet sets nice and dark. It's not sort of ingrained with any dirt. Dash on this side is all good as well. We do have a small crack in the dash top. Same spot as the other side. It's actually where the, the heat event actually clips through. And then under here, you've got that 1.3 litre injection engine. If you're gonna use your minis, they're, they're, they're a really good shout. Um, nice and reliable. Easy to drive, you're not messing about with chokes or anything like that. But it looks to be nice and standard under there. If we pop underneath, you can see there's no fluid dropping on the floor. We'll get it fired up. And there's your other perk of the injection fires up on the button. Idling nice and smooth. Nothing nasty coming out the back. So there you go. Rover Mini Cooper, Japanese import. If you've got any more questions at all, please let us know. Thank you.